so okay <clears throat> so um, actually um, what do you mean by oscillation like we've been seeing uh, oscillation in everywhere like uh, even um, uh, while we are uh, riding on a bike the oscillation occurs there like uh, it gets uh, up and down and even like uh, when we uh, the uh, pendulum clock it also oscillate and it is freely oscillate it gets oscillate freely so what is oscillation actually so oscillation uh, so it is the uh, actually in a simple way uh, oscillation uh, is object oscillates it means it is an oscillating object you know uh, it gets moved back and it gets moved forward and repeatedly it gets uh, back in for uh, repeatedly so it is the so on either side equally we have also seen an object oscillates when it moves back and forth repeatedly on either side of some equilibrium position so um, uh, this is the uh, equilibrium position here so this is the position means uh, it gets uh, some equilibrium position too so uh, it is the uh, repetitive uh, back and forth so the, the this is uh this is back and forth and this is up and down so uh, we've been seeing uh, these two examples in our daily life so uh, uh, talking about this uh, uh vibrating uh, freely a uh, ruler vibrating freely at its natural frequency so it gets up it gets down okay so uh, you don't have to get uh, worry about so uh, this is the uh, free uh, uh, this is uh, free and force oscillation so this is the force oscillation and this is the free oscillation so this pendulum is free oscillation it gets free removed and this is the force oscillation remember it so in oscillation there are two types of uh, oscillate uh, two types of frequency uh, that is uh, <coughs> natural frequency force frequency <clears throat> so first uh, for uh, force frequency you can even say force oscillation and natural oscillation for natural frequency too so uh, so what things you have to remember in a level is you need to know what is natural frequency actually so natural frequency the on force frequency means it is not force okay the on force frequency of oscillation of a freely object oscillating object you can uh, visualize pendulum clock like it it gets uh you know uh, a swing without on without force like first uh from the uh so from this end it gets uh moved you know for complete cycle it is not forced and gradually it gets decreased and it gets into the equilibrium position okay so uh, this is the on force uh, frequency of oscillation this is pendulum there are lots of on force frequency so the also uh, uh, this uh, natural frequency it is the on force okay and then after uh, one thing is every oscillator has a natural frequency so every oscillator every oscillator has natural frequency of vibration means like uh, talking about the uh, uh, vibrating ruler also it has a natural frequency if you wanted to observe then you can uh, do practical at home just take a scale and uh, 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 like put it uh, on the table and press it and vibe, start vibrating at a certain time it gets starting into the natural frequency so every oscillator has a natural frequency of vibration the frequency with which it vibrates freely after an initial disturbance so after initial disturbance means when it is not disturbed by your force then it gets starting it gets stuck into the natural frequency process so it gets uh, automatically into natural frequency and then after uh, uh, there is a force frequency also in the force oscillation so force so this is the uh, actual force oscillation example of force oscillation so uh, the, the the this is the e scale and you just press it over here and this is the e scale and it gets like when you uh, when you uh, uh, uh it start uh, uh moving this it gets up and down and this is the force frequency this is a force oscillation you are giving force first 
first force and, and, and when you leave it, it gets starting oscillating. So this is force oscillation. Example of force oscillation is it is caused by external driving force. So external driving force, it is caused by external driving force. Uh, <coughs> this is caused by external driving force because you give force for this oscillation. So force oscillation, an oscillation caused by external driving force. Remember, a force oscillation is the uh, an oscillation caused by an external driving force. The frequency is determined by the driving force. Means the frequency of this is different de de depend um, uh, by the driving force. Means the more driving force you applied on this uh, experiment, it it gives the frequency. So it is dependent on your force driving force and it is not natural frequency but it gets into natural frequency but it is not natural frequency okay so after the starting movement it gets into the natural frequency but this is not natural frequency but this is driving force and this force is determined this frequency is determined by your driving force and it's an oscillation caused by an external driving force okay so in a level uh, sometimes you've been asked by some question like uh, it to uh, it say uh, what is driving force and you have to say um, uh, uh, oh sorry what is all force oscillation or force frequency and it is an oscillation caused by an actual for driving force simple and natural frequency is the on force frequency it is the uh, uh, like it is the um, on force frequency of oscillation okay it's on force frequency of the oscillation so <coughs> so let's do this question uh, so this is uh, relates to free and force oscillation basically. So here is uh, state which of the following are free oscillation and which are force. So the wing beat of a mosquito. So actually, um, um, what would be the answer of this? So the wing beat of the mosquito, it is force oscillation because uh, the uh, wing is, uh, uh, you know, it, it is a uh, flat, uh, it is flapped uh, by the muscular force, so it is the force oscillation. You can say this is the force oscillation. So this is the force oscillation. So the movement of pendulum in a grandfather curve. So this is a free oscillation. So uh, previously I talked about uh, free oscillation. So it occurs in pendulum so far. So vibration of a Kimball after it has been struck. So this is all the free uh, oscillation because vibration of camel after it has been struck so it is after so after so when you uh, uh, put, uh, when you applied uh, force oscillations after certain time it gets into free oscillation it gets into natural frequency so uh, it is the uh, it is also the free oscillation okay and a shaking of a building during earthquake so it is a force oscillation because the building is Sect uh, by the earthquake, so it is a force oscillation. Force oscillation. So uh, observing oscillation. Actually, <coughs> in our daily life, we cannot see oscillating object having higher frequency than five. Uh, like uh, here, it is uh, mentioned. Our eyes, our uh, okay. So it is mentioned here, like. Uh, 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 our eyes cannot, our eyes cannot respond rapidly enough if the frequency of an oscillation is more than five hertz. So, I think just imagine, like, um, if you are uh, vibrating, if you see uh, guitar vibration, can you see that? oscillate uh, oscillation properly no it is higher than five if it is higher than five hertz then you cannot see the oscillation so uh, even if you uh, uh, decrease the distance of scale and when you uh, vibrate that scale you cannot see the oscillation so observing oscillation is that so human eye can only see five up to five hertz oscillation five hertz frequency of oscillation you cannot see more than that so anything faster than this appears as blur but it is oscillating but it appears as blur you cannot see in order to see the general characters oscillating we need to find suitable systems of oscillating so uh, it is uh, so, so the example also 
So this is the uh, example of uh, observing oscillations. So this is the uh, mass spring system. So uh, here uh, you can see uh, this is the uh, trolley. This is the trolley. Okay. So this is the trolley, and what happens? A trolley loaded with extra mass is threaded by identical spring. So this is the identical spring. Okay. So this is the identical spring, and this is also the identical spring. <coughs> So in between two clamps, uh, this place the trolley to one side and it, it will oscillate back and forth. So I talked to uh, before that <coughs> you know, oscillation is, uh, uh, is a back and forth, the quantity of back and forth. So, <coughs> so listen the sound of the trolley moving where, where it is faster moving. So where is it fast moving faster? So if you, uh, uh, so if you uh, move trolley in this side, if you move trolley in this side, then what happens that force is uh, uh, exerted over here, so the distance also decreases. So when you uh, when this dec uh, distance get decreased, uh, you apply more force. So uh, so there is a higher acceleration also. It is dependent in uh, a higher acceleration, and this is the equilibrium point. So actually what happened in this that where it is moving faster, listen to this, it gets more faster, obviously. So what happens to its, its speed as it reaches the ends of its oscillation, so it, it gets zero. So you know, at end of oscillation, uh, uh, at the end of oscillation, actually the B is higher over here. So uh, B is, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, more B over here when it gets in the equilibrium position and then after the resultant force okay so so if uh, 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 so at the equilibrium position the acceleration is zero okay and what happened actually when you move this trolley uh, to the uh, right side to the right side uh, when you move this trolley to the uh, uh, right side basically what happens uh, is uh, that it exerts more force to the uh, right sides and and it will uh, compress the springs and when you push when you lift when you uh, leave that uh, compressed spring it gets moved here and there and what happens when it gets uh, moved here the acceleration is increasing and it moves here the acceleration is increasing and what happened actually is the acceleration increases and at the equilibrium but the velocity reaches over here is zero it gets zero and over here also zero but at the middle the velocity is maximum and acceleration is zero okay the acceleration is zero so uh, when it gets into uh, the equilibrium position the velocity uh, so when it gets stopped the velocity becomes zero everything becomes zero so axis Actually, it is uh, directly proportional to acceleration. So, trolley threaded between springs will oscillate freely from side to side. You have to have a clear idea about this so far. So, this is another observing oscillation. So, a person is uh, holding <coughs> pendulum ball <coughs> on his hand, and the, the length of pendulum is uh, two, two meter. You know, it should be two meter as it is written over there here. So it is two meter long, and what happens is when he uh, left the pendulum, it gets uh, oscillate into natural frequency. It is an unforced frequency, okay? And uh, in a similar way, what uh, uh, try not to uh, know the characteristic of his motion. It gets you know come for oscillate and it gets into equilibrium position after the end of it. So in what ways it is similar uh, is it similar to the motion of oscillation trolley so it, the, in comparison to uh, you know it's swing due to its natural frequency and actually is always directed to its center so according to the um, uh, so uh, 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 so here acceleration is directed at the center but in trolley it is directed at the its side and how does this motion compare with that of pendulum and mass frequency try use Zing frequency say how it's using electron. So we'll be coming to the this part here. Well, a loudspeaker cone, a single generator, uh, so that it's vibrated, so it gets vibrated. Uh, so uh, 
you may have observed uh, a sound speaker when it gets into lower sound the cone of it gets up and down up and down up and down so when it gets up and down this uh, stroboscope uh, flashes so when it gets up it flashes when it gets up it flash when it uh, gets up and down it gets flashes so when it has one hertz you can see the uh, oscillation of uh, this cone but when it is in higher frequency above 1000 or 100 hertz you cannot see because it gets very fast you know i told you the moment i can only see five hertz frequency of five oscillation uh, of five hertz frequency so so when it just gets high you cannot see so this is signal generator so stroboscope flashing is the instrument that is used for observing the oscillations uh, you can even uh, uh, put it in the fan also so do you observe the same pattern of the moon no you cannot observe so so uh, how does this motion come with that a pendular master this is the another kind of motion this is up and down and the trolley also the back and forth and uh, pendulum also the back and forth but it is up and down all right